I want you for a second to follow me here. Let's imagine that your whole life you've been lied to about everything. Just think about that for a second. Think about everything you've been told ever since you were a little tiny one. Is this inconceivable? Is it wrong to think this way? Weren't things like the uh, Santa Claus and uh, the Easter Bunny, you know, those things were said to you and you find out later on, it just isn't the way the world is. They give you dreams just to crush them. <sighs> well, those weren't the only things you were lied to about. Everything else was a lie as well. <clears throat> These things were told to you and you were groomed to benefit the person that was telling the lies. That's what happened, people. These people told you the lies so that they could benefit from it. And you say to yourself, why would they do that? What would it benefit them? Well, to have the illusion of control over somebody? Absolutely, yes. That's one thing. To make sure that you, in this capitalistic world, don't feel that you could be anything other than an employee? Well, of course. We all need employees. Could you imagine if the whole world was entrepreneurs? The whole world wanted to be their own boss. It wouldn't work. We'd have no workers. It just, you know, <laughs> school's not there to make uh, entrepreneurs. School's there to make workers, to make subordinates, to make people that fall in line, to understand schedules, to understand that you show up, you leave at a specific time. Yeah. And it was all lies. But I'm here to tell you the truth. You want to hear the truth? You can be anything that you want to be. Anything. Anything you want to be. Any person you want to be. Any income you want to have. Any lifestyle you want to live. You can do those things. You have to forget the lies. So how deep-seated are they? Are they still being told to you by the same people? Are these people that you trust? These are all questions that need to be answered. They need to be answered by you, not me. I could tell you that you could do these things, but only you could take the actions to do them. Was that ever said to you? Maybe. No, 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 it was never said to you. Because what happens is as we go through things, what happens? Oh, the players of the, of the sports team, they get a trophy, but the coach gets recognized. You're the greatest coach. Players had to do it themselves coach was there just to keep everybody together to facilitate and be the voice of the players but the players are the ones that got it done we live in a country that runs no differently than the sports team runs the president when everything's going great gets all the praise in the world the people are the ones that did everything but the president's the one that gets the praise because he's able to organize the people into power positions And they say, oh, the economy's so great. You don't see it on your level. Of course not. But they get the praise. They get the meetings and the lavish lifestyles. They get most of everything. Oh, it's so nice to be the coach, the president. The boss, isn't it? It's so great. The truth is that when you do all the work and you build everything, then you no longer want to work for anybody else. You no longer want to make anybody else's dream come true. You only want to make your own dream come true. That's the lie that you live in, that there's some sense of security if you work for somebody else. So let's go over this lie a little bit, since I'm in a little bit of a roll lately with a few things. You go to work expecting there to be a paycheck. Do you know that there is nothing other than unemployment that prevents that job from going away and you having nothing? Especially if you live paycheck to paycheck. There's nothing. If nobody comes through, like, people are like, well, oh, I work for, work for a big corporation. 
Big corporation make cuts. Big corporations just close doors. Walmart, they get they get upset. I mean, Walmart is the what number one or number two employer right now. So Walmart is like, I work for Walmart, always have my job. No, no, buddy. They go in and just completely wipe stores out. Top to bottom, don't, it doesn't matter. All gone, shut the doors. They don't care. Merchandise is rotten on the shelves. It doesn't matter to them. Something happened, contract fell through, customers aren't coming to the store, a union was made. Whatever the deal is, it's done. And when it's done, it's done. There is no security. It's a false sense of security. It's a lie that you're told. So you continue showing up to work. It's kind of like all these people that had jobs for the last 20 years being told that they had a pension. Now they're being told, oh, the pension's not there, we had to use it for something. Well, what do you mean? Pension goes in, it's a larger sum of money so we can buy into better pensions, better organizations, better banks that don't lose money, and you're telling me the money's not there? Wait, it was mandatory for me to give it to you? It's no different than Social Security. It's supposed to be invested money. A very easy investment, mind you. Yet, what do they do? The money doesn't sit in your account like it was originally designed to do. So they lie to you. They take this money and they, they use it for whatever they want. If you just invested it at 7%, by the time somebody worked 50 years, they would have a decent retirement. That's not opt-in, opt-out. It's mandatory that you pay these things. But that little bit of money they take from you, if it got invested in your own personal social security account, oh, would it be amazing what you would have when you turn 59 or 64, or whatever, whenever you can collect. It would be amazing what you would have. But we don't look at it that way. Again, more lies, lies, I tell you. So understand that. Understand everything was a lie and understand that you're able to achieve anything. Get that through your head and the world will open up to you. Stay frosty. Um, just think about, think about the different messages and do some homework on them. Write them down. Write your answers down. Questions that are posed. Um, it's great to listen to everything that I say, but it's also, you know, if you, if you want results from it, you got to do a little bit of work on yourself to get those results.